welcome back to another video. So today I am with this little one. We're with Duke. Um, so he's been here for a few days now. Okay, we might have to do a little bit of walking because he's young and standing still for a long period of time is a little boring, isn't it? So I'm gonna give you some head scratches. Um, so he has settled in really well. Okay, we'll go for a little walk. I know you wanna look at all the other horses' stables. You're very nosy. Um, so he's been so good. Him and Mickey are the best of friends. Mickey has really enjoyed being the sort of older, more mature horse, kind of showing him the ropes, showing him around the yard. But obviously you've got the horses right next door. So, um, well, the big horses, Casper and Joey. So they can say hi. Oh my goodness, what's happened to your forelock? So I've just walked him up to the yard on his own, which is quite a big thing because he's not got the other horses kind of as reassurance around him. So I've done a few little handling things with him, but obviously I've wanted him to settle in. So that's why um, for today's video being the first week with Duke, I have skipped the first few days just because we don't want to get the cameras out, shove them in his faces where he's in a completely new environment and home. Um, so I'm going to go and tie him up now and I think the first thing we're going to do is give him a groom. So come on Duke, walk on. Good boy, there we go. Oh, what a good boy. There we go, and stand. Well done. Okay, let's tie you up. Good boy. Should I get your grooming kit? Yes, yes. <gasps> Dookie, I've got your grooming kit. Yeah. Oh, sniffing, can you give me a sniff? Good boy. Okay, I'm gonna pop this down here because you haven't really seen this before. Give it an unzip. What should we do? Should we do your mane? because it is very wild, very wild. So I think he's spotted something, he's looking. He really is looking. All right, so I'm gonna give him a quick groom. Um, obviously at World Horse Welfare, they've done a lot of really good handling things with him. So he's used to being groomed, but obviously I'm new, he's in a new environment and I want to carry on doing all of the handling training that World Horse Welfare have done with him. So um, that's what we're gonna be doing a little bit of today. I've done a little bit the last few days, but obviously I haven't wanted to do too much because everything is very new for him. So I'll see you guys once I've given him a bit of a groom and then I'm going to be talking to you about a few questions some of you guys have had about him because obviously he's a new horse and there's a lot to know. <laughs> just brushed his mane but he looks so cute I just love how fluffy it is you are adorable mister but he looks so much smarter just having his mane brushed um, so the next thing I'm gonna grab is my um, dandy brush so because Duke is a field kept pony I'm gonna be using a dandy brush instead of a um, body brush and this is because you want to try and keep all the natural oils in his coat that protect him from the elements so that's why I'm gonna be using this one from Supreme Products I also have my high equestrian um, grooming kit which I cannot get over how adorable this is it actually matches um, the donkey's rugs and I've also got um, my Richmond collection on from them so I'm feeling very matchy today with the navy and red um, but you can really sort of get the size of Duke compared to the brush here because this is absolutely huge compared to him so I'm only gonna have to do a couple strokes on his like neck and then look it literally like cleans the whole of his neck Duke you're so tiny there we go I'll just give you a quick little, little flick off and then you'll be done something. Can you see Joey coming? Can you say hi? Hello and welcome to um, the other end of Duke. So um, his tail is 
Um, a little knotty, I don't know what he's been getting up to, but there's a few bits of leaf and things in there. So I'm gonna be using some um, Detangle and Shine. However, I don't know if he's ever used fly spray or any sort of sprays on him before, because obviously um, that is something some horses don't like. Casper tolerates being sprayed with a fly spray if he's like in the wash bay or tied up, but um, he's not the biggest fan of it. But um, we'll see if Duke will be fine with it. Obviously, I'm gonna be very gentle. I'm gonna do some spraying away from him first. So he's fine with the noise. There we go, just gently put it on him. Oh, what a good boy. And I'm just standing by the side of him as well, so if he were to kick, I would be out of the way. What a good man, well done. He's fine with sprays. That, that has been ticked off the list, what a good boy. Honestly, I keep forgetting he's won because he is just, honestly, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think of it. I'm gonna have to crouch a little bit to do, <laughs> to do this, but I'm not gonna kneel because obviously, if he was to move, I can get out of the way easier. He's just so good. He's standing here so well. He's putting Joey to shame, honestly. Joey seems like an absolute baby compared to him. Oh, he's got a whole curly tail. I'm just trying to do it in sections because it is a little naughty. I don't want that to be uncomfortable for him. Oh, what a good boy. Well done. He's just such a chill dude, guys. He's just like, yep, this is my life. Let me just spotted the horses. <laughs> oh, there's Joey, can you see him? So the next thing I'm gonna do is pick out Duke's hooves, which I've already done because I did that on the handling day at World Horse Welfare, and I know he's a very good boy with that, so I'm just gonna pull down your leg. Okay, Dukey. This one. Good boy. Oh, there's not much to pick out. You've got very small little hooves. Look how tiny they are. Look at that compared to my hand. They're so small. Okay. Okay, so he does really love the scratchies, yes. So before I could do some in-hand work with him, I thought I would answer, yes, I'd answer some of the questions that you guys have asked. So to go through the rundown of all of Duke's information is that um, he is one, he was born June 2020, we believe. Um, he is a gray. A lot of people were confused about his color. He is a gray, he's got like such a cool, um, really light colored mane, um, but he was will eventually probably like white out so more cleaning for me but he's a very pretty color at the moment um, he's got some darker color coming through in his tail so there is hope that um, maybe he'll stay darker for longer but maybe not yes um, but he doesn't seem to get too dirty which is good um, he okay his height is 11 hands obviously he's only one so he's probably going to grow like a tiny bit more but world horse welfare suspect that he he's probably going to be like that big not that much bigger <laughs> so this is pretty much as big as he's going to get oh he is trying to get some of the grass Jeek. he is very food orientated he will do anything for food yes i know i'm talking about you a lot of people have also asked me if he's ever going to be ridden or if I'm going to ride him. He's 11 hands. I am not going to be riding him. Obviously, I don't know, maybe when he's older, we could get him like a little saddle and um, a little teddy bear could ride him or something. I don't know. But I think for now, he's young. I'd... We'll just see what, what he enjoys. I'd quite, I think it'd be quite fun to do some like horse agility with him. Um, that I know some people do with like small horses. Oh yeah, that's the other thing people are asking. What is his breed? A lot of people think he's a Shetland. He is not a Shetland. He is a Welsh mountain pony. A lot of people, oh, you've got tangled you silly Billy. There we go. Good thing I've got an eye on you. Um, a lot of people also think that maybe he's like a Welsh Section A or a Welsh Section, a Welsh section something. He is a Welsh mountain pony. He's just a small Welshie. We don't really know much else apart from that. So um, I would really like to do a DNA test with him like I did with Mickey because I'd find it really interesting to see like what his top three breeds are because obviously he's a rescue. He was just found abandoned on a Welsh mountainside. So um, 
it says Welsh Mountain Pony in his passport, so that's what I'm going to say. Um, but no, you are you are rather small. Um, we actually have a head collar that I'll show you in a bit that we got, and it was a large foal. He wears small foal. So he literally has the smallest head collar that there is. I think Shet Shetland head collars, so the donkey's head collars, are going to be way too big on him. Can you stand? <laughs> is so high pitched <laughs> all right so right now i'm doing some handling with duke which is really important because he's a young horse um and also because um it's really important although he's small to act like he is a 17 hand stallion because i don't want him to have bad manners so it's really crucial at this age so if i say stand good boy and lots of praise is needed as well stand and then walk on Good boy, well done. You might also be wondering why I'm wearing a helmet, gloves, and also a stick. So this is what World Horse Welfare recommended because he is a young horse. He's in a new place and I'm not used to him. Although he's small, he could tank off with me and pull me over. You know, um, he's small, but he does weigh more than me. <laughs> um, I also have a stick, not for anything nasty or anything like that. It's just as a um, tool to help him move forward because sometimes um, he can be reluctant, especially if he's walking away from his friends or walking somewhere new. So um, what I do is I just give him a little bit of a tickle behind on his tummy and that just gives him an extra aid to walk forwards. Duke is now back. He's with a haylage net because he's been such a good boy. So I thought I'd give him um, that for now while he's standing here because he's been so patient, guys. He's honestly stood so still for the filming, for the grooming, and he obviously did some in-hand work as well, which I was very proud of him. Um, but anyway, one of the questions that I got asked the most was, why get a horse if you can't ride it? And um, for me, being an equestrian isn't about, um, isn't just about riding, it's also about the love of horses. So for me, my horses are my pets. I'm in a very lucky position where I can keep my horses at home. So having an extra horse like Duke, um, isn't that much of an extra cost for me. So I'm in a very lucky position also with my job. I'm with the horses all the time. So I had the space to have another horse. I had the time to have another horse and the money to have another horse. And Duke is a rescue horse, or um, he's a horse that I've rehomed from World Horse Welfare. He needed a home, so then um, World Horse Welfare then had the time to take on more horses and more cases and things. So. Um, Duke needed a home, we fell in love with him. If you couldn't already tell already, I am just, I'm obsessed with him. He is so cute, I love him so much. Um, he needed a home, we fell in love with him and it all just worked out really nicely. Also, Mickey has never been happier having his little friend. I think, um, Mickey did feel, because he's a lot smaller than Joey and then Casper, being in the field with the other two big boys, as Mickey's getting older, he found it a little bit more difficult to sort of, they're having a fun time right now in the field, galloping around, just as I was about to say. Joey and Casper like to have a good gallop around in the field every now and again. They like to bomb up and down, especially this sort of time in the evening because it's soon coming to dinner time. Um, and Mickey just struggled a little bit trying to catch up with them. He would always run with them, but he would, he, there was a few times where he wasn't quite sound, where we think he just, as he's getting older, isn't quite as fast as he used to be. So, um, having Duke, living a sort of quieter life, not being as fast with the other two boys, he's just seemed so much happier. He loves being sort of the top dog in the paddock because it's just the two of them. He's loving being sort of Duke's older best friend, sort of showing him the ropes of the field and that kind of thing. So it, personally, it's worked out really well. It also means that um, a few of my friends sometimes come over and hack on Casper and I go on Joey. So Mickey isn't left on his own. He now has Duke as a companion. So, you know, it's actually worked out really well for us. And, you know, there are a lot of horses out there at World Horse Welfare that you can get that um, are rideable. And there are a lot that need to be companion homes. And Duke was one of them. He needed to be a companion. And um, although, yes, I could do sort of in-hand things with him and agility that might be fun. For me right now, 
you know, I'm really happy with Duke being a companion. I love him to bits. I don't love him any less because I can't ride him. He's just a really lovely horse and I enjoy having him as, you know, a companion for the other horses and also as a friend. And then the last question I got asked a lot was, what does Duke eat? So he is on Bailey's locale balancer, which he was actually on at World Horse Welfare because Bailey's, um, they donate feed to World Horse Welfare, which is really cool. Um, so he was already on that. He's been obviously assessed and things of what he should be eating. So I actually have this little pack here, which is um, the pack I got when I got Duke. So it has all of his information. Also something really cool about World Horse Welfare horses is that um, I don't actually own Duke. World Horse Welfare do. So technically, it's like a full lease or a full loan. So it means that if I ever get ill and I can't look after Duke, then um, he'll go back to World Horse Welfare and they'll find him another home to make sure that it is a home that's acceptable and up to their standards. So it also means that World Horse Welfare will be coming along and saying hi every six months just to check on Duke, make sure that I'm being a good owner that's up to their standards. Um, so it also, it also means means that these horses that haven't had the best start in life make sure that they always have a really good home um, at all times. So this is his little pack. In his pack we have a weigh tape. So here it says how many kilograms he is. He is 158 at the moment. Obviously if he grows he is going to get a little bit bigger but we need to really keep on top of his weight. Because of his breed, he's really susceptible to things such as laminitis, where horses have um, a bit too much fresh grass, which we need to keep you on a restricted diet, yes. Um, so what else do we have in here? We have his passport, so that's quite cute. Um, I've had a little look at it. It's, his name is World Horse Welfare Duke, if you want to know his passport name. And um, it has some like cute pictures of um, all his little markings and things, so he's identifiable. His, yeah, colour is grey. Um, country of birth, United Kingdom. Date of birth, it just says 2020, but we believe June 2020. So yeah, it has all his flu vaccinations in here and tetanus vaccinations. So yeah, pretty much just a standard horse passport. And obviously in there it says that he's um, owned by World Horse Welfare. So I've just undone the weigh tape and the first thing I just thought was how big of a horse would you need for that to fit around them? This little duke, it's, it's not going to quite be that big. So first I thought, oh my goodness, they got this wrong because this is massive and I was like, oh wait, duke's just a really small horse or pony should I say. Okay, dukey. Oh, is this scary? Is this scary? I'm going to do a bit of pressure and release. It's okay. Look, you can have a good sniff of it. It's a weigh tape, you've been weigh taped before. See, so you, you can see he can be a little nervy sometimes. All right, so a few days later and he still weighs 158 kilos. So um, I haven't gotten him too fat yet. Well done, what a good boy. You're good with the weigh tape now, aren't you? It's not that scary. So I'm gonna very gently take this off because obviously it can be a bit flappy and spooky again. Well done, good boy. Good boy, I'm just taking the way tape up. Oh, what a good lad. There we go, well done. Good boy. So with Joey, Casper and Mickey, it's quite easy to make their feeds because I can just be like, oh, you know, three cups for Joey, two and a half cups for Casper and one and a half cups for Mickey. But for Duke, um, he has 150 grams of Bailey's locale balancer. So we've made a little line here. So that is the Duke line to make sure that he gets the right amount of feed because, um, you know, it's really important to make sure that we keep his weight in check because the two extremes they have at World Horse Welfare are horses that have just not really been fed much and are just skin and bone. And then they have a lot of horses that are also just absolutely obese, which um, can also be really bad for your horse as well if it's overweight, especially for things like their joints and stuff in the future. Um, but anyway, yes, you're looking at the food, aren't you? Um, this is what Duke gets. Um, Locale Balancer is great. I'm really lucky to be a sponsored rider for Bailey's because it makes sure that Duke gets all the um, vitamins, minerals, proteins um, that he needs because obviously he's young, he's growing, um, but it also means that um, it's not high in sugar and it's low calorie, so it makes sure that he doesn't get too, too chunky. So um, I'm gonna pop this away. I'm really sorry, Duke. You can have like, you can have like a little pellet if you want. 
Oh, are you too busy with your haylage? There we go. Good boy. <laughs> I feel mean having this. And then Joey knows it's food time. So anyway, guys, I'm going to finish off today's video here for I was gonna call this my first week with Duke. I guess it kind of is, because it is the first week. Um, but it's kind of like my daily routine with Duke, things I get up to with him, such as grooming him. Obviously I don't groom him every day because that's not really good for his natural oils, but um, you know, doing handling, getting him used to being tied up and things. Um, the next thing I think we're gonna tackle is the wash bay, because he hasn't been in the wash bay yet, so that might be a little interesting. You're up for a bath one day, mister. Um, so I'm going to finish off today's video here. I'd just like to say a huge thank you for watching today's video. If you're new or haven't done this already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And don't worry, there's going to be lots of videos with Joey, Casper and Mickey coming soon as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!